The first half of the year, a lot of people have been talking about there's been a real drop in volumes from 2011, and that's, that's very clear. 2011 was a, you could call it a bumper year. Um, the first half of this year was, was very slight, it was very low. Um, the change has been a couple of big transactions, which have been Warsaw Financial Center with, uh, uh, with Dan Daniel here. Um, IBC has also signed its preliminary agreement now. So there are a couple of big, bigger transactions which are actually in the process of completing. So the upside, yes, the concerns of low volumes were there. It will be less than last year, but the activity is still there. And I'm quite surprised as to how much activity there is. It may not reflect in transactions done, but the amount of transactions being discussed, negotiated in the process is very positive. But unfortunately, the, the challenge is closing these transactions. Um, the biggest change I've seen coming back is just how long it takes to complete a deal. Um, generally, people are now expecting almost 12 months. The best could be six months, so any transactions we're starting now will be concluding next year. So it's a very long process. And it's not necessarily, some people are saying, oh, it's the debt markets, there's no finance available. That's not necessarily the case. I mean, debt, debt is, is available, but obviously not on the same terms as it used to be. Um, so my view, yeah, things are, are still active. The volumes do not reflect the sort of activity that, and the demand that is still there. I'm looking at Poland as for 2012 as it will probably have a pretty good year. I think it will get close to roughly 2 billion of um, investment volume. But I think as Mike was saying, 2011 was such a strong year that a lot of things closed by the end of 2011. So effectively there weren't a lot of transactions in discussions and in process for the start of 2012. And as Mike was saying, things do take so long. Just to give you an idea for Warsaw Financial Centre, we started uh, the initial investment memorandum came out in October 2011. So if you were the agents actually working on that transaction, you started in roughly June 2011, and we signed the transaction at the beginning of August, and we're anticipating a closing either beginning of November or beginning of December. So that transaction, so if you were the agent starting to work on that, that's a 15 to 16 month process to sell a single building. So if you start the, tra if you start the year with zero on the board, Q1, Q2 is never going to be particularly exciting in terms of investment volumes. But you're starting to see now a significant amount of transactions under, uh, under due diligence. And I think I was talking to one agent in the Warsaw market, and they said they've currently got one billion under due diligence, which hopefully should close by the year end. But there are real possibilities. Half of that could move into 2012. I think the investor demand is there. I think people are still seeking opportunities in these markets. Um, I think Poland and Czech is doing so well, when well, Czech has had a little struggle this year, because there aren't so many markets to invest in. So from the Tristan side, we invest in the UK, France, Germany, Poland and Czech. So where we go back to 2007, 2008, and we had 12, 13 different markets we can invest in, uh, we only really have five. So I don't think I'm particularly dissimilar from many other investors. So therefore, people still have a significant amount of interest in these markets. And I think that's continuing to will continue to drive investment volumes and I think will continue to keep yields relatively stable even if they may go maybe up a little bit in the next, the next few months but I think the demand is still there to keep the, the product on people's minds.